good with y'all, man? It's Tomorrow One Two Three Ten. We back with another anime last stand video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving y'all the ultimate beginner's guide in the game. Basically, I'm gonna be going over all the codes in the game, the tier list for meta characters that you need to summon for, so you don't waste any of your emeralds, and the fastest way to farm emeralds to make y'all super OP in the game. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me because I'm on my road to 10k subscribers. So smash that subscribe button. My Discord is in the description below. Let's try to get this video to 200 likes. And with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. The first code you want to put in, this is the most important code that you want to put in right now. It's Toad Boy Gaming's code right here on the screen. A huge shout out to Toad Boy Gaming, man. That is amazing that they gave you Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as your character code. Man, he's really good. He's an air unit, stuff like that, especially if you're a starter. You're going to need air units for when you're starting off in the game. They gave you a free Nami so you can hit stuff for airs, but Gogeta is way better, way superior. This is also the other person right here, W code that you have as well for this Super Saiyan Gohan, like Drip Gohan. It's really cool. I like it that they're doing the Dragon Ball Z theme, man. If I get a code, bro, I'm picking Yusuke your mission. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully, I get one one day, but these are all the codes right here. All the codes on the screen right here, make sure you put in all these codes. I think all these are working. Sometimes they work, and sometimes they expire, or sometimes they just don't work. Try every single code on the screen. This should lead you all with about 8,000 to 10,000 gems, maybe even more, maybe even more emeralds. I have no idea. Like I said, just put in every single code you see on the screen right here. I'm not clickbaiting, nothing like that. We ain't going to make you watch a 20-minute video and all that. They're all right here. This is the first step that you need to do, and then once y'all get done putting in all these codes, I'm going to tell y'all the tier list and the summon and stuff like that and getting y'all familiar with doing all of that. This is the first thing y'all need right here. After putting in all those codes, getting Gogeta, Gohan and everything like that you should have about 8 to 10k worth of gems so the next thing you want to do is come over here to the summoning area you can teleport right here on the map as well to the summon area you want to run up here and summon on banner 1 you're only going to have banner 1 until you clear your Namek Saga and once you get to the Namek Saga you're going to unlock banner 2 right here which is the banner you only need to summon on it's Celestials it's Mythics and stuff like that and it has a better chance of getting Celestial Pity and a better chance of getting Mythics right here like I said I have a tier list on the screen right here so you can see which Celestials and which Mythics that you want to go for but like I I said I would just summon on banner one get you a couple side units to go along your Gogeta or you can summon for some units to feed inside your Gogeta that you can start it up like I said you're gonna come over here you're gonna teleport to your story right over here all right open that up boom once you get to your Namek Saga right here you should unlock uh, you should unlock the banner two right here so it doesn't take that long it's not too hard you only got to beat one two and three of these boom and you're right there you don't have to complete the entire Namek Saga you just have to make it to the Namek Saga and you unlock banner two so let's go ahead and tell it back to the summoning. Then, like I said, oh, that's glitched on this. <laughs> I don't know why my menu had got bugged for a second. So, like I said, we're gonna, it's still bugged. <laughs> there we go. All right, bet. We're gonna teleport back to the summoning area. And, like I said, don't worry about it. On banner one and banner two, your pity saves. So, if the banner resets or anything like that, you don't have to worry about it. You keep your legendary pity, you keep your mythic pity. And once you unlock banner two, you keep your celestial pity. So, you're chilling. Like I said, you can just summon and have fun. I got a tier list on the screen. You can choose to do that or you just have fun. Just play the game however you want to. You want to be like super meta, you want nothing but the best. Go for that. If you want to play like a more chill play style, get your favorite character, stuff like that, you can do that as well. So like I said, the pity does not reset or anything like that. It's easy to farm gems all that. We're going to get more into that as the video progresses. After redeeming all those codes and summoning, like I said, I got a tier list right here on the screen. Yami is the best for story mode. He can clear out the entire story mode, especially alongside Gogeta as a really good OP air unit. I didn't have Gogeta when I started. That's a W combination. Like, Gogeta and Yami go crazy, bro. So make sure y'all try to summon for Yami too as well on the tier list or try to get something like that or you just have fun with it because, like I said, I didn't have Gogeta and I was able to beat it and stuff like that. I didn't use Yami either, but if you had those, use those. Like I said, use everybody to your advantage. But the next thing you want to do is after you finishing out your story mode, like I said, you want to clear all this out. The fastest way of farming emeralds is clicking on this one right here, clicking at the one and clicking Nightmare. Like I said, this is another uh, little helpful thing for yami too as well you can place him and another thing as well too as i found out if you join the official group for anime last stand you go from getting 500 away to getting 600 and once you do that let's go to units really quickly i think yami is right at 600 so it's perfect so you make sure you join a group of anime last stand and for some reason they reward you for being in that group which is really cool and you get an extra hundred dollars a wave so that's really nice where is he at really quick let me see where that boy yami's at and also y'all know i got demigod online but still, he's still tough. But look at that. 600 right there, right on the money, man. 
So make sure y'all join the Anime Last Stand group too because it gives you benefits for actually joining. Like I said, they ain't like other games where you just join it and you get nothing. You actually getting rewards and stuff out of that. So like I said, it gives you extra money in game. So make sure y'all join that uh that group down there in the description. Another below. way you earn gems is make sure you AFK and stuff like that too as well. But really quickly, I'm gonna show y'all the quests and stuff like that as well. Like what you can get. You can get emeralds and stuff like that. But not only can you get that, you can also get rerolls. As y'all see over here, it'll start adding up. You should be able to beat like once you beat it on nightmare or normal stuff like that. You'll be able to claim all these quests right here. And you'll be able to get rerolls once you're reaching like wave 50 and wave 60 and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Like I said, you got some on nightmare mode. You got some on regular mode where you can just go ahead. And this is like your little quest. Basically, you can just start damage farming these. These are the only way to get rerolls unless you buy them right now, unless you get them from codes. But they said they are making stuff where weekly you'll be able to get like maybe like 30 rerolls and stuff like that, or daily you'll be able to get like three rerolls, which is really cool. I like that they actually giving you like options and ways to earn rerolls, which is really cool. Which is really cool. So let's go ahead and tell you what you need the rerolls for. Let's go ahead and teleport out one more time. Let's go ahead and head to about the spawn area. That'd be good. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to my boy Yuta, the cursed kid. Where is Yuta at, really quickly? And I'm going to show y'all. It's basically like anime adventures with the rerolls and stuff like that as well, too. I'm going to show y'all. So you come up here to techniques. You come talk to Yuta really quickly. And this is where you get your traits from. Like I said, you can get all these nice and lovely traits. This is how you power up your units even more. Me, personally, I would say save. Unless you get, like, Celestial units like Roy or anybody like that. Or anybody meta. Like, you know, the Kate Baldy, a.k.a. Saitama or something like that. You can put a really OP trait on them. So that's really good to do that as well, too. Like I said, I put Demigod on my Goku in the beginning because I needed a really good air unit. I was really doing him and uh, Sukuna because I was like, hey, they're the best ones I could use at the time, at the time that I was playing the game. But now, that, like I said, y'all don't have to start like me and use Goku or nothing like that. Y'all can literally use Gogeta but, or y'all can use Sukuna. But like I said, basically you have this over here. You have an index and stuff like that where you can come and look at all the traits and all that good stuff. They have a lot of traits in here. And it's not too hard to get a good trait. Like I said, they have you a lot of codes. The video, the codes that I gave y'all in the video right there or in the... Um, at the beginning of the video, they should have gave y'all some rerolls. You probably should have like 30 or 20, maybe even 40 rerolls, man. Like I said, unless the codes expire, because sometimes they expire, sometimes they still good. But basically, that's it. And then you can just basically just reroll, basically. Let's go ahead and give them a quick little stat real quick. Let's see if we can get them something decent. Come on. And then one more. Okay, we got Vulture on them. Okay, and then you just hit the index right there. And also, another good thing, too, is if you're like, if you're about to reroll off of something, look, it asks you, are you sure would you like to reroll off of Vulture? So they actually, like, you have a warning before you do it, which is really cool. I like that idea, too. So don't accidentally spin off something. So if you get Avatar, Overlord, or Shigami, you won't actually spin off of uh, all sync out, which is really cool. I like that little feature. I like that a lot. Basically, I got Vulture, so I got plus 25% range, minus 5% SPA, plus 50% critical damage, plus 25% critical damage, which is pretty cool. So that's another little thing right there just to help you all out, man, just to help you all out. And also, I think this is probably like the final thing I'll talk about. I'll talk about the last thing, and then maybe the game passes. But you can also come over here really quickly to your units. You can also click on when you farm kills and stuff like that. They do have a skill tree. I haven't touched the skill tree yet, so I can't give y'all too much information on it. I will look up another guide or something like that or somebody else's video. But once you get stuff like that, you can kind of empower your characters and get them stuff after farming a certain amount of kills. I just won't mess with mine because, like I said, I don't know what's the best setup for each unit. You have to go through a look at that, do your uh, research yourself because I don't want to mess nobody's unit up. So make sure y'all go do some research over that before y'all start giving y'all's characters more and more stuff, which is really cool. I like it. They got a nice little system. And then the final thing we'll discuss really quickly is game passes. I feel like the game passes, if you really like decide to play the game and stuff like that, I say you should at least get VIP 1 because it actually does give you some decent stuff in the AFK chamber. And it all stacks up too in case you want to. I have VIP 1 and 2 or you can buy the starter pack as well which gives you, gives you a thousand emeralds and it gives you like a little exotic Eskimo, which is really cool. And with all that being said, man, you should be on your way to being super OP. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's your boy Tomorrow123T and I'm out.